Hey folks, Kevin here. Well, it's September 25th, uh, 2020, and I'm out by Pond 5. I'm at the south edge of Pond 5. And, uh, and today's video is to talk a little bit more about what we've been doing to try and seal up the base of this pond. Now, in previous years, we used paper products and weeds and plant material uh, and wood chips to, to help seal the pond. Now, the wood chips had decomposed at the upper end and gradually worked their ways way down. But all the paper products really did do a pretty good job starting to seal, seal up the pond. And each year, the water level has increased by the end of the season, except for 2016 when we did have a, have a pretty significant drought. And then again this year, well, we've had the worst drought we've ever had here on this property. And, uh, and not only is Pond 5 dry, but uh, Pond 4 is almost dry, Pond 7 is dry, Pond 6, Pond 6 is dry. And that's one of the reasons that I've been working so much down on the beaver ponds is getting, uh, getting the area set so that I can hopefully install a solar water pump to be able to pump water up here uh, for future years to help with these uh, worsening droughts as time goes on. Now, in the last, in the, in at least one video that I posted this year, I shared how once the water had disappeared from the pond, first we cat gathered up as many fish as we could and got the turtles out of the pond. And uh, because we knew this pond was going to go dry because of the drought, and then I used Bumblebee, the mini excavator, to go down and take material that had, that had settled, uh, the sediment that had settled in the base of the pond, and started moving that up on the walls. And, uh, but using a, an excavator, uh, you have to be real careful because you have to go, the excavator tracks have to be perpendicular to the slope of the, of the pond wall. Otherwise, if you go parallel with the slope of the pond wall, with the, uh, with the uh, angle of the pond wall, the, the excavator is going to fall over as soon as you start to move any, any dirt. Uh, so what we did was we used mini, the mini excavator, Bumblebee, to dig out a lot of the surface material on the lower part of the pond and then start working it up on the walls of, of the pond. And then I use the grating bucket, which doesn't have teeth in it, to try and pack it down and spread it out as smoothly as possible. That's as good as I could do with the mini excavator. And certainly the uh, Optimus Prime, our tractor, is not sufficient to be too safe, too, too dangerous to bring it down in there. But recently we got hound. And uh, after I got done working down and back, I decided, geez, let's see, since it's really dried out a lot more, Let's see how well this this tracked beast will get will do down in the uh, uh, on the walls of the pond. I'm still becoming familiar with the uh, with the angles that I can work on the slopes that that the excavator can move sideways on, and how much weight we can it can handle uh, going in and out of the of a steep slope as well and the downward pressure. But my goals were. Uh, after, well, let me say this, that when I took the mini excavator and I spread out all the sediment, it still had a great deal of moisture in it. And that's why I couldn't get all the way down in the pond is because the, the mini excavator would have sunk out of sight. But since we've had so many continued periods without any rain and, and, uh, and now more hot weather and windy weather, that surface has hardened and as a result all of those areas that I packed down with the grading bucket created cracks in it. Uh, and that creates a, a very easy way because as the water goes down along the surface of, of the area when there's cracks in it, it creates a little turbulence which creates a uh, more erosive effect and therefore more of that sediment that I moved up on the walls would end up going right back down to the base. Now of course a lot of sediment will work its way down there, but my goal was uh, yesterday when I brought a uh, hound down there was to see how well I can fill the voids of all those little cracks uh, with, uh, with the bucket of the mini excavator and the tracks and keep packing it down, pressing it down more and more. Uh, had I known that, that we would have gotten this, this, this much more of a drought as the season continued and known that I'd, I would be purchasing hound, uh, I probably would have picked up some bentonite clay, which would have uh, further assisted and, and been more of an insurance policy that the pond would be sealed up. So. What you're going to see next is some footage uh, shot from the camera on the coop there 
of the process of using hound down in in the area. I don't think I need to do any narration with it since I've just explained the whole process. But you'll see hound working his, his way around down in there along the surface, packing down as much of that material as possible. There are some rocks up against the eastern wall that I go ahead and pick up with some of the uh, n not completely decomposed wood chips. On, that's, on that east wall, there's a lot of wood chips that have made their way down uh, from uh, adjacent to the uh, greenhouse building. So uh, I think that's about it. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. Uh, if you found this video of value, please give us a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And by all means, folks, take good care of yourself, stay safe, and uh, I guess... Enjoy this beautiful, colorful fall. Take care now. Bye-bye.